Hey guys, it's Kelly and welcome back to our channel. For today's video, I'll be sharing with you all of the gear that I use for my YouTube channel. Now, obviously you guys know that I just got this camera. I will have a link down below for when I'm unboxing it. So this camera is clearly new, but I'm gonna be showing you all of the gear that I've used thus far for my YouTube channel. So if you didn't know, I started my YouTube channel back in 2011 and there's no way I'm gonna be able to show you guys all of my old cameras and everything that I used to use because all of that stuff is either long gone or in my house back in Pennsylvania with my parents. So before I get started, if you guys are not subscribed, please go down below and hit that little subscribe button and the little bell so you get notifications anytime I post a video. So now we're just gonna jump right on into my old cameras and then also all the little things that I use for my channel. So my first camera that I ever actually bought was the Canon Rebel T3i. This was my first big girl purchase. I think I bought it back in like 2013, 2014. The only reason why I don't like to use this camera to film is because it is manual focus and it is really hard when you are blind <laughs> to focus a camera throughout your videos. This camera also has the kit lens, which is the 18 to 55 millimeter lens. It is a great camera. I would definitely recommend it if you guys are into photography. So then the second camera that I decided to buy was the Canon SX730HS. I bought this camera back in 2017. I think the reason why I bought this camera was because it honestly was the most like the G7X. This camera has a flip up screen. It's such a great camera, especially if you're just vlogging. I'm definitely still going to use this for vlogging. There's nothing you can add to this camera to make it any better than it is the day that you buy it, which is a great thing, especially if you're not very tech savvy. I am like kind of a camera junkie. One day I wanna buy like all those like really old film cameras, but not today. <laughs> this is a great camera for beginners, for people that are just wanting to buy a new camera. I think that these Canon SX whatever number are great. I don't think I would recommend this specific one anymore because I think they're up to the 740 or 750. So I don't think getting an older model of this camera is such a great idea, but this is a great camera. It's very small, very easy to throw anywhere. I have brought it into my purse a ton. Like let's just do a size comparison. Like this is the like this is a small camera and it has a pretty good video quality. And now obviously the camera that I'm shooting on is the Canon M50. I love this camera. I've only had it for I think two weeks now and I think it's honestly such a great investment. It's honestly the best for videos. It is the best photography camera. Maybe I shouldn't say the best photography camera because there's definitely a ton of really great photography cameras that are better than this, but this is definitely a great camera for the price. I'm pretty positive we spent $5.99 on it and that is such a cheap price for a great camera. So the next thing I don't also have to show you because I'm using them, it is my studio lights. I got them from Amazon. They were like $49 and I think they are great for the price. But this umbrella kit came with three stands and I really only use two just because of the lighting that I like. It came with black umbrellas along with the white umbrellas. I only use the white ones. I don't think the black ones really do anything. I think it just makes the lighting more harsh, especially with my glasses. I would recommend this tripod so much. It is the Zomi tripod from Amazon. It goes, I think, to as tall as I am, and I'm 5'7", five, 5'8". Five, it's a great tripod. It's honestly it's such a great height. It is very sturdy. I feel very secure putting my camera on it, especially if I'm putting it somewhere that I might walk away from it. Like I don't think it's gonna fall down pretty much is what I'm trying to say. It also locks in a lot of ways so it doesn't really go anywhere. There's a way to put like a weight onto it to make it more sturdy. I don't do that because I don't have any real reason to have it somewhere that will really fall down. The only person or thing that will knock down my camera is my dog and he is terrified of tripods so he won't go near. Again, I will have all of these products linked down below so don't worry about having to try and find them on Amazon. The next thing I have, I have not used with this new camera but I used to use it on my T3i. It is this video microphone. This is by the brand Tackstar from Amazon. I think this is $15. Insanely, insanely inexpensive. It's a great, great great microphone for the price the only issue is that this is huge the only issue i find with this is that it picks up a lot of background noise which can be good and can be very bad so i ordered this 
I don't know what these are called, but it just goes on top of the mic like this. It's honestly such a great investment. I think this was eight bucks. I think this whole thing is around 30 bucks. And all you have to do is plug it into your camera. And also just remember, I have been on YouTube since 2011. The only reason why I have gotten new cameras is because of the time that I've been on here. So don't think that you have to run out and go buy new things. So the next product I have to share with you guys, I know you're probably thinking, why are you showing me the camera battery thing that comes with the camera? Just hear me out. So I've been doing YouTube for nine years, well, nine plus years because I had an old channel. One thing I always said I was gonna buy was extra batteries. And with this new camera, I finally did what I've always been saying. So I actually went onto Amazon and I got these Vivitar extra batteries. It came with two of them. One of them is in the camera right now. And let me just say, it works with the M50. I'm not going to sit here and say that this is the best battery that you will ever have because I'm 97% sure if it's off-brand, it's not gonna last for your whole life. But I think a two pack of these was 22 bucks and it also came with a ton of different little extra things that I really only kept one of them. But it came with two packs of these, like two battery packs and then obviously the charger. But then it also came with one of those like outlet converters so that way if you're in a different country you can still plug these in and it also came with a car charger so if you are out on the road you can charge your batteries so the next thing i have to share with you guys i'm not sure if you're going to need this because i didn't need this until i got a new computer but i have this sd to like usb port i'm not 100 percent sure how to explain it other than that I can put my card in here and then plug this in my computer and then somehow it works. I'm not, I'm not technical in that sense. I, I don't know how it works, but it does. I'm going to link one that's cheaper, but has good reviews down below because I'm not going to say that this is the best one because it literally feels like plastic. I'm surprised it works, but, and the last thing I have to share with you guys, I kind of feel stupid showing you, but it's something that has become more beneficial for me recently than before. It is these lens wipes that I get from the Dollar Tree. I usually use these for my glasses. They're great for glasses. If you just wear glasses, go get these because I think they're great. I'm sure that you can get a bigger pack off of Amazon, so I probably have a link down below. Yeah, that is all the gear that I have for you guys today. I feel like there's definitely more things that I could definitely mention, but this is all the stuff that I either use with my old cameras or I use today. But just so you know, you don't have to go out and buy all of this really nice equipment. Just work with what you have. Like I had my Canon Rebel T3i. It's obviously a very old camera, but I worked with it until we wanted to buy a new camera. But yeah, that's all I have to share with you guys today. If you guys have not yet subscribed, please go down below and hit that little subscribe button and hit the little bell so you get notifications anytime I post. Yeah, I will see you guys back here on Friday and yeah, have a great day. Bye guys. Mm -hmm.